thought my day couldn't get better. I'll take some ale. The way to Baron Light is clear. Get moving. You're not Aaron Vanguardsman. I will move only when the captain when says. I cleared out all the bristlebacks, which I have. Captain's orders. So they're okay. Banged up, but breathing, and waiting up ahead for you. But, but I, I was supposed to have three escorts. I'm off to Baron Light, buddies. Like Aloy said, captain's orders. You can stay here. Abandoned to the riffraff? I think not. Guess you're coming with me then. See you there, Aloy. Done. The embassy can finally get underway. If I can get through it, I'll be able to track down Silence. Hades. <sighs> Maybe even a guy a backup. Guess I could head straight for Baron Light. Or poke around the daunt some more first. And maybe take Petra up on that drink. About time that whistle blew. Did you hear who's in charge Open must now? Be. <laughs> I've heard of your adventure. My armor can help. No, no, we all know who did that. Better than a badger with red armor to start with. Change your mind about that brew? Come for that beer after all, eh? Here, sit down. Get a pint in her hand. Wasn't expecting you to swing by. Since when do I do what's expected? Ha! 
There's that spark. Fire and spit. Uh, fire and spit. <sighs> That's a blast from the bellows. Won't fix the forge, but at least I can forget about my troubles for a while. Like what? Well, things aren't as bad since you got this place running again. But we still got Olven grating the gears about his concession decree. If you don't put that down, I'll come over there and show you how that game ends. Anyway, right now, I'm just worried about those refugees out from Sunfall. To come all this way, enduring Forge knows what. Oh, I saw. They won't let anyone up the old trailhead southwest of here. And therein lies the problem. A stormbird crashed up on the cliffs last week, and Tallinn Clean Brokers had his eye on the salvage ever since. But the refugees have barred entrance. Mustn't interrupt their sun-scorched ritual. Something about finding a twilight path. Huh. I never heard them talk about that before. Yeah, well, these particular Shadow Karja are an odd bunch. But overall, they're peaceful folk. Not that it matters to Tallinn. He'll crack some heads to get to that salvage. Maybe you could swing by, convince him to set up camp somewhere else? I thought you'd be back in Freeheap. Well, after the big battle at Meridian, I went back, but realized it was running smooth. Didn't need me. Heard about the rebuilding out at Baron Light. Figured they could use another hammer. Been scraping by ever since. You could always leave. And go back east? Nah. I ain't one to leave a lit forge. Besides, someone's gotta be a squeaky wheel for the workers around here. What else can you tell me about the Shadow Karja refugees? Well, they don't call themselves Shadow Karja for one. At least, not anymore. They're some other brand of sun crazed. But whatever side of the sun they're on, they're peaceful through and through. Don't seem to want for nothing except a place to live, pray, and just enough food to keep from starving. So they're just camped outside by a trail, blocking entry to a wrecked stormbird, waiting for... what, exactly? Don't rightly know, but I'll tell you this. Should they ever wise up and salvage it, a stormbird heart is worth a lot. And if they get there first, then by Ostrom Law, it's theirs. Not that Tolan Cleanbrokers ever lost sleep over any law-breaking. Who is this Tolland clean broker? Just some chuff huffing pawnsman. Got a shop here in town. Lived in chain scrape since there was a chain scrape. He and Alvin go back a ways. Like a pair of coals in a campfire, those two. So Tolland works for Alvin? Ha! <laughs> Alvin might think so. But Tolland scrapes up his own scams. And he ain't the type to let a few refugees get between him and Stormbird salvage. So about Olvind? Around here, everything's about Olvind. How'd he end up in charge? He got here early, like a squirrel smelling a fat nut. He knew rebuilding barren light would need stone and timber. So he jangled purses all over Mainspring, getting investors to front claims on anything in the Daunt that might be worth a damn. Thing is, all the bankers back home know that this is Karja land, and the Sun King can revoke those claims at any time. That's why he's desperate for the Magistrate to sign off on a concession decree. This concession decree, what is it exactly? And how would it help Olvind? It's pig diddle, that's what. A writ that would put all Osram claims in the Daunt under Osram law, even though they're on Karja land. It would mean that any existing ore, stone, and timber claims couldn't be revoked by the Karja. No more risk, no more hesitation for investors back in the claim to pour in the shards and expand their business. And since Olvind has a stake in all those claims, it would make him richer than a scrapper in a junk heap. Not to mention Chainscrape would become an Osra municipality, so he could buy enough votes to call himself an elder man. He's a sly old badger, I'll give him that. Figures if he keeps up the pressure, eventually the Magistrate will sign. So the bristlebacks in the daunt. You're a pig. Blasted things, those bristlebacks. They just showed up one day, rampaging around the valley like they exploded out of a forge. Lost some good people. 
But bless the bellows, you cleared them out and got this place working again. That put a dent in Olven's plans. Now, if only there were some way to smash them all together and run them out of town. But how could Bristlebacks and the Daunt help Olvind? Two words. Concession decree. Since no one knows where the Bristlebacks came from, Olvind has taken to blaming the Karja for him. He's hoping to dig up enough old resentments to get a strike going until the concession's signed. This is just his latest attempt. He's been trying to rile up the workers since the day he rolled into town. About that. I think the Bristlebacks came out of Olvin's old mine. <gasps> now there's a spark that could light a fire. Can you prove it? I'm working on it. By the forge. Grab my ear if you nail it down. Well, if I'm up that way, I'll talk to the refugees. Try to convince them to move. Much appreciated. They have it rough. Don't need Tallinn making it rougher. Petra no said Tallinn one wants to play strike. Here in chain scrape. No? I could Any. have a word with him first. hunter that bailed out the Karja. Never heard it put that way before. What do you want? Heard you've been hassling refugees up by the cliffs. Yeah, well, you heard wrong. There's salvage up there. A storm bird. Nailed it myself with a harpoon here in town. Not an easy shot if I do say so myself. It clipped its wing. And it crashed into the old tower up there. Killed it quick. Yeah, so if anyone's hassling anyone, it's the Shadow Karja filth that's blocking the way up to my claim. And you're ready to crack some skulls to get to it? No need. It's a raggedy bunch. Probably all starved before I have to lift a finger. We'll see about that. Oh yeah, we will, won't we? Now shop's closed to Karja lovers. On your blasted way. You're reaching for a fight, friend. I could get around faster if I find a charger to override. I I'm sorry, I'll be right with you. Uh, okay, I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I'm saying it's overkill. It's a weapon! Kill is the point. Not if it blows the user's arm off! Oh, just, just, just stop talking! Where are we? Ah! <clears throat> so, uh, you, you look like someone who's always searching for a new weapon. Am I right? Actually, I... Ah. Could you just not? I am with a customer. I... I'm not a customer. I got it! Triple the powder. It'll blow a strider sky high. Ba-boom. One shot kill. Guaranteed. Uh... Maybe I am. Then you are in the right place at the right time, Red. How would you like to be the proud owner of the world's first machine-enhanced... Explosive, done-in-one, machine-wrecking... Yet perfectly safe... Javelin Thrower. Are you two from around here? Nah, the claim. Dad sent us out west in search of some unknown opportunity. Said we'll know it when we see it. Sounds like you had other ideas. Let's just say that opening another trading post for my parents isn't how I want to make my mark in this world. <sighs> I imagine traveling alone must be nice. So, she's your partner? My apprentice? And my sister. She's why we're out here. It was an incident. Another incident. Involving explosives? 
ba boom And Dad's precious homebrew. He shipped us out the next day. Huh. Tell me more about this weapon of yours. I saw a scroll when I was a kid by some Karsha scholar who wandered out west. Had a scary drawing of a Tanakh warrior hunting with a kind of javelin thrower. Effective? Yes. Basic? Undoubtedly. But coming out here made me remember it. And I am on the brink of vastly improving the tool's archaic design. Whereas I will perfect it. I can use machine parts to enhance the user's throw, increase the projectile's velocity. Well, Boomer here is adamant that enhancing the projectile is better. Namely with explosive tips. Boomsticks. Why not both? That could work. There's one small snag. I need the parts to make the first working model. Well, for starters, I'll need charger horns. Intact. Yeah, that. Just be sure to shoot them off before the machine goes down. Otherwise, they break. But the real innovation, and keep it to yourself, is a fang horn rib. There's a mean one east of here. Blow it sky high. Boomer! You get them for me. It's yours, my treat. You have a deal.
Morn? We should have enough charger horns for Galen Boomer now. Just need a rib from that fang horn they were talking about. People are under attack. Hey! You up there! Aren't you gonna help? Not my job. I'm just here to keep an eye on
rest of them. Better check on the refugees. Is it bad, Lokasha? Shh, now. Everything will be fine. Is everyone okay? Bruised. But not buried. Our order will live to see another day. Are you sure about that? We're no strangers to hardship, Nora. We've crossed half the Sundom with no more than the clothes on our backs. And as soon as our Sun Priest returns, our path will be clear. For now, we wait. Well, you're better off waiting somewhere else. Your people need shelter. There's a town east of- Chainscrape. Yes. We know of it. Savohar says it's not suitable for us. Who? Our sun priest. Our order has made it this far thanks to his guiding light. Okay, and where is this Savohar? He went up to the tower to meditate three days ago, and he won't come down until the sun shows him the way to our new home. The fallen storm bird is an omen, he said. And of course, it must be. I see. And how long do you plan on waiting for him? Until he returns. He will return. He must. There's an Osaram in Chainscrape, Tolland. He wants the Stormbird up there. Yes. He was here just yesterday. A very unpleasant man, even by Osaram standards. He made all manner of threats. But we will not be intimidated. That's all well and good, but he's got friends. Sooner or later, his whole gang will show up. Sabohar will come through. He always does. We just need to give him more time. You're out of time, Lakasha. You need to consider packing up and- We won't leave him. And we won't let others disrupt his meditation. Well, they're going to try. Your priest, Savohar. You said he's been up there three days? His meditation can't be rushed. So he does this often? Meditating for days on end? Well, it doesn't usually take this long. But he will guide us through. He always has. We have faith. Sure, but shelter looks like a more pressing concern. You're Shadow Karja, aren't you? We are the Order of Twilight. The difference being... When the Usurper Avad killed his father, we fled with the Karja in Shadow to Sunfall. Our lives there were... difficult. Savohar saw our misery, lifted us up, protected us from the corrupt priests and heartless Kestrels. When their rule ended, Savohar led us from the Shadowlands, the long night ends, and the setting sun will lead us to salvation, he said. And so he named us the Order of Twilight. We journeyed west in search of a better life. Why didn't you go back to Meridian? A bard is a patricide. We will not kneel to the likes of him. We must walk in twilight to our new home. Savohar will lead us there. 
Uh huh. Look at yourselves. Those machines nearly wiped you out. And Osram thugs are watching you, just waiting to strike. You're in danger here. You need to grab Savuhar and get out. Our situation. This is the worst we've endured. I know we cannot stay here, but without Savohar to guide us, I, I don't... Let me up there, and I'll convince him it's time to move on. But his meditation... If he hasn't received his vision, he won't follow. At least let me check on him. If he's been up there for days... Yes. Yes, that is sensible, I suppose. Please, be careful. The trail up to the tower is falling apart. Savohar is strong, but it could not have been an easy climb. It rarely is. Let the Nora pass. Check on Savahar. Looks like I should head up. Kasha was right. The trail's in bad shape. This looks recent. Must have broken off when Savohar climbed up here. those beams if I jump against the cliff. Must have broken off after Savahar passed through. I need to find another way up. A gemstone. It's green like Blaze, but it's hard and shiny. Wonder if merchants would be interested. Broken 
bridge. I might be able to make the jump to the other side. That's a lot of blood. Savohars? He must have hurt himself pretty bad getting over the bridge. It's not looking good. It looks like he left a trail. I can follow with my focus. There's the Stormbird. Getting closer. I think I'm in the clear. There's Savoir. The true sun above me. The true sun before me. Show me the way this even tide. <coughs> the true sun above me. You must be Savahar. True sun before me. Show me the way this even tide. <laughs> no. No. The vessel must be empty for the coming vision. You don't need a vision. You need medical attention. On the way up, I saw parts of the trail had given way. Is that how you hurt yourself? My pain. All part of a ritual. You're hurt bad. And your people are running out of time. Staring at the Stormbird isn't solving anything. You don't understand the omen. It fell here at the beacon. I just need to see the twilight. My people will find their home. What do you think's gonna happen here? If you sit long enough, the sun will show you something? A path to a new home. A fallen machine can only mean that the storm has passed. And salvation is at hand. Or some Osram shot it and it hit an old tower. Listen, Lakasha is doing the best she can down there, but machine attacks, angry Osram. 
The Order is scared, Savar. The last rays of the eventide will burn away their fear. I don't think so. Look, I think you punctured a lung. You can't heal it with prayer. The sun will provide. <laughs> and I will not lose faith. I'd be more concerned about losing blood. Your people are worried about you. They need shelter, security. The true sign above me. The true sign for me. Show me the way. This even time. I think you've been staring at your salvation this whole time. The true sign above me. Gotta get over to that stormbird. Grab its heart. Stormbird heart is valuable. Enough to feed all the refugees waiting below. And his answer is sunstroke in a prayer? Why does every priest I meet think blind faith is the answer to everything? The Osram that was watching the refugees probably went to get Talland. I gotta get them out of here before he comes back. There. The Order should be able to afford shelter with this heart. Some food and a change of clothes wouldn't hurt either. Savahar? How you holding up? I need to get back over there. Savar? I guess you did the best you could. Rest easy now. I'll make sure your people are safe. I should let Lakasha know. And give her the Stormbird heart.
Get out of the way. No. Who's Talon? With the thugs. I'm a generous gent. So I'll give you one more chance to make it easy on yourselves and clear out. We won't let you pass, Asaram. If you choose bloodshed, that's on your conscience. Ain't it just like the cards you to make things harder than they have to be? Okay, boys. You heard her. Get your consciences ready. Hold on now, Talland. You again? Listen, I'm all out of patience here. I clipped that Stormbird's wings. The salvage is mine. I don't care who gets in my way. Nora Savages or Shadow Cars or flea bags. I'm taking it. You sure you want to do that, Talland? You know who I am. What makes you think a single Osram lunkhead can take me down? I've got four guys. Huh? Ah, <laughs> oh, blast it. <sighs> okay. You win. Hey, I'm doing fine. I don't need that salvage anyhow. But these people need all the help they can get. Come on, boys. Back to chain scrape. I need a drink. Aloy, again, we thank you. You're welcome. Now take this heart. Use it to buy food, clothes, shelter for your people. Maybe even land to build a new home. This is... Savohar must make these decisions. No, I'm... I'm sorry, Lakasha. Savohar isn't coming back. He's gone. I know it's hard. But your people need a leader now. Go to Chainscrape. Talk to the Forge woman there, Petra. Give her the Stormbird heart. She'll look after you and your people until you can get back on your feet. Find your path. I'll do my best, Aloy. What choice do I have? Here, please accept this. It is modest, but I hope it helps in some small way. To chain scrape, then. <laughs> <laughs> 